Fitness program. Today we are going to be making some paper bag jellyfish. So the supplies that you're going to need for this craft is some paint, you're going to need some paint brushes, you're going to need a brown paper bag, you're going to need some scissors, um, some wiggly eyes or googly eyes, um, some glue, a little bit of glitter, and a good attitude. So to get started, what we're going to do is you're going to make sure you have you a cup of water, that way so you can clean your brushes off. Um, but you're going to dip your brush, the paintbrush that you're going to choose. I'm going to use the bigger brush, like so. Dip it into the water. Once you dip it into the water, I'm going to take a paper towel, take my brush, and wipe the water away. Like so. And then you're going to pick the color of your liking um, for your jellyfish. So. For, uh, for today, I'm going to be using the color purple because that's my favorite color. And you're going to paint the top portion of your jellyfish. So the top portion is going to be the head. So it really doesn't matter if you use this side, the back side, or the front side. Um, it's up to you which side you want to use. Um, so I'm just going to use the back side. Right, so you're just gonna begin painting. Um, it doesn't really matter which, how you paint, as long as you cover the whole top portion. And then you're also gonna start painting on the bottom half of it. This way, your jellyfish has some color, and you're pretty good to go. Now, you don't have to use purple. You can use blue, you can use green, you can use red. Really can get creative with the colors that you want to use. I'm going to use purple. cover the top as much as possible. But once you're done with the top, then you can move down to the body. Keep in mind that the more paint you use, the longer it's going to take to dry. Alright, so your top portion should look something like this. Top part is um, painted. Now we're going to move down to the body. So I'm going to take some of my purple and just start painting down. So once you're done painting the body, it should look something like this. Alrighty, and then after that, you're just gonna clean your brush off. 
And if you're done adding color, color you can just um, move on to getting some glue and then your wiggly eyes and placing those onto your bag. But if you're not done using color, then continue painting your bag to um, the color of your liking or your choices. And then once you're done, then you move on to the eyes. towards the bottom here to so twist off the top get out my two wiggly eyes and put that to the side next I'm going to get I'm going to use some tacky glue I have a second kit here so I'm gonna put some of that glue don't have to use tacky glue, you can use whatever glue you, like, you would like, but that's just the glue that I'm going to use. Alrighty, so what I'm going to do is glue I have or any extra glue I'm just going to wipe that off like so so now what you're going to do is place your wiggly eye right on in the center like that my fingers off all right so this is where your wiggly eye should be so far Now you're gonna take your other wiggly eye. You're gonna dip it inside the glue. your legs as big or small as you would like to.
dulu Too much spray out, you can just wipe away and then start again in a wiggly line so that way it adds some texture to our tools. You don't have to put it on all the legs. You could do as many or as little as you like. Or you don't even have to do this step at all. If you just want to stop here, you can stop here. I decided to do it on all the legs. Now what I'm then going to do, I'm going to take some glitter. Preferably one that's already open. Just gonna sprinkle the glitter all over where you have the glue. Your jellyfish paper bag. So let us know what um, creative ideas you guys come with, come up with when you're doing your jellyfish paper bags. What colors you use? What glue did you use? Did you use glitter or did you not use glitter? I hope to see you guys next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye.